I haven't actually watched Velma, so this isn't going to be a review. I'm not going to give it a score or something. I, I just want to talk about some shit that's on my mind about it based off clips and the trailers I've seen. Because I don't have any IRL friends who care about this franchise. I am not one to judge a penis by the foreskin, but this shit looks terrible. Visually, I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look too generic and stiff. I think the art style is nice, the animation looks pretty good to me, but it's just the writing, dog. that writing. I think it's so funny, this and Be Cool Scooby-Doo have the exact opposite problems. Be Cool Scooby-Doo, everyone was like, oh, this looks like two and a half packs of ass, this is the worst thing I've ever seen, but then when you actually watch it, it's kind of funny, it's kind of well written, the characters are nice, but Velma, oh lordy lord here. This, this, I can't stand the fucking writing on this. And I, I've, again, I haven't watched it. Maybe it's good. Maybe it'll get better with time. But just from what I've seen in the trailers, it just looks unbearable. People saying this show ruins Scooby Doo is kind of insane to me. Do you know how many fucking Scooby Doo shows come out every few years? I'm pretty sure a new movie for Scooby Doo comes out every year and it has nothing to do with the canon of whatever TV show is on at the time. Scooby Doo is going to be fine. This franchise is indestructible. This, this, this shit ain't going nowhere, no matter how dog shit a cartoon is. And plus, it'll, none of it will ever be as bad as Curse of the Lake Monster. Why the fuck is Shaggy going by Norval? Like, what's your name? Norval. Norval? Well, I know that's his actual government name in Scooby-Doo canon, but it's still so fucking weird to have to address him as that. That's the part of being woke they don't tell you about. You change the white man's hair, now he doesn't have his signature feature that gives him his nickname. You gotta call him Lox or Nappy now. Unless if it's a pup named Scooby-Doo or a live action movie, any Fred interpretation that isn't Frank Welker, dog shit. What the fuck do you mean Shaggy is struggling with being a beta male? Do you know how many bitches want this nigga's dick? There's Amber, there's Googie, Velma twice, once in Curse of the Lake Monster, once in Mystery Incorporated, that French girl from Mystery Incorporated, Velma's cousin, uh, the list just goes on and on. A lot of people are saying this show has that meta comedy type of writing and that is a huge turn off for real. You know, that whole, I'm not just some one-dimensional cliche girl, I actually do, shut the fuck up. Pick up your damn glasses and ask where they are, that's all we want from you, Velma. Velma just looks like she's gonna be a huge asshole to people, and just a, a, a bitch. Ugh. And not even like in a cool way, like in Mystery Incorporated, how she was, but I, I guess there'll probably just be some character development or some shit. But man, it's not looking good. I'll give the show this, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be making Shaggy a stoner, like every other adult Scooby-Doo parody thinks they need to do for some reason. Shaggy is just a weird guy. We can just have him be a weird guy, He's do he doesn't do drugs. Anyway, whatever, this show isn't gonna destroy Scooby-Doo. I don't know why people all of a sudden pretend to care about the franchise. You know, I didn't see no one talk about any other fucking Scooby-Doo cartoon on Twitter over the past few years. Where were you when fucking Scooby-Doo and Guess Who ended? Did you even care? Did you even know that show existed? Did you watch Scooby-Doo meets Courage the Cowardly Dog? I don't think so. Look, I'm not gatekeeping, I just think it's very fucking funny that people only care about Scooby-Doo when they do something controversial, like uh, in in that Christmas movie or Halloween movie when Velma had a crush on a woman and also with Velma with uh, now that she's an Indian and Shaggy's black yeah whatever man there's gonna be like 10 other Scooby-Doo shows in like the next four years who cares